In this video, I'm going to show you how you can interact with the project schedule in IntelSys.Build without the need for additional scheduling software like MS Project or Primavera. SAP S4 HANA has a very powerful project system and the high degree of integration with other application components enables us to use it for planning, executing and accounting of projects. When I open a project in IntelSys.Build, I'm presented with a familiar view to most construction managers. The Gantt chart gives a nice visual overview of the entire project timeline. At the highest level of the hierarchy, you can define the scheduling method you want to use, either bottom-up scenario, top-down, or free scheduling. One of the first steps in project planning is to break down the work into tasks and set up a hierarchy. You can plan the organization of the work and people in your project with the work breakdown structure. This is the high level structure you see on the left marked with triangles. The work breakdown structure is at the core of the project system and forms the base of the organization and coordination in the project, keeping track of the amount of work the time required and the costs involved in the project. After you have set up your WBS structure, the next step in project planning is determining the sequence in which the tasks will be performed. You must determine which tasks are dependent on each other and which tasks require additional work or must be broken down further. In the project system, you can plan the processes and the sequences of tasks with network activities which you see here at the lower level of the hierarchy. For every activity, you can specify a lot of information, like the WBS element, work center, plant, working units. You can maintain the schedule with normal duration or the minimum duration. You can specify any date restrictions this activity might have. You can manage the relationships to other activities, and you can even assign a person responsible for this activity. IntelSys.Build uses reference points to link the material from the BIM model with the time in the schedule. In this example, we are using uniformat classification codes as the reference points. I have already done the material takeoff from a BIM model with uniformat assembly codes specified for all elements. I have also linked a bill of material to this project and therefore I can see my activities loaded with resources. Thanks to the integrated nature of S4 HANA I don't have to do this manually. This gives me the requirement date of materials to run my procurement process and make sure the right materials are delivered just in time at the right location. We can even automate the whole scheduling process by applying production principles to construction. If you define the schedule dependencies average time needed to procure, produce and install materials, then the system can calculate the duration of activities and work out the optimal schedule. This way you get a baseline schedule which you can fine tune for execution. Since we have the materials and schedule linked with the BIM model, I can go into any level of the project hierarchy to view its relation to the BIM model. We have integrated the Autodesk BIM 360 Viewer to provide the best-in-class rendering of BIM models on any device. Here you can see additional parameters and examine the entire model of the project. This level of BIM integration gives you the possibility to verify that the scheduled activities align with the actual data. Using IntelSys.Build, you can easily identify what is causing delays in your project and what kind of implications this has on the rest of the building.